Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me for the word of the Lord today. I'll read the word of the Lord for about a minute or so and then we'll get right back down to the video in which I came to show you today. So we're in Genesis chapter 5 and it's the descendants of Abraham. This is the written account of the descendants of Abraham. When God created human beings, he made them to be like himself. He created them male and female and he blessed them and called them humans. When Adam was 130 years old, he became the father of a son who was just like him in his very image. He named his son Seth. After the birth of Adam, uh, after the birth of Seth, Adam lived for 800 years and he had other sons and daughters. Adam lived 930 years and then he died. When Seth was 105 years old, he became the father of Enosh. After Enosh, Seth lived another 807 years and he had other sons and daughters. Seth lived 912 years and then he died. When Enosh was 90 years old, he became the father of Kenan. After Kenan uh, after the birth of Kenan, Enosh lived 815 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Enosh lived 905 years, and then he died. When Kenan was 70 years old, he became the father of Mahaliah. After the birth of Mahaliah, Kenan lived another 840 years and had other sons and daughters. Kenan lived 910 years, and then he died. When Mahaliah was 65 years old, he became the father of Jared. After Jared, after the birth of Jared, Mahalia lived another 830 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Mahalia lived 895 years, and then he died. When Jared was 162 years old, he became the father of Enosh. After the birth of Enosh, Jared lived another 800 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Jared lived 962 years, and then he died. When Enosh was 65 years old, he became the father of Methuselah. After the birth of Methuselah, Enoch lived in, Enoch lived in close fellowship with God another 300 years, and he had other sons and daughters. Enoch lived 365 years walking in close fellowship with God. Then one day, he disappeared because God had take because God took him and I'll stop right there so that was verses 1 through 25 1 through 24 of Genesis chapter 5 and we'll pick up in Genesis chapter 5 starting at verse 25 in the next video whenever that is I don't know <laughs> but anyway let me show you what I came to show you um, I did show you this in the last video I showed you these beads that I had gotten, this bead box I got from the Dollar Tree, and I got these beads from the Dollar Tree. You can see all the beads. And um, this is what I made with the silicone beads. I made, this is a size I crochet hook, and I made this crochet hook with these beads. I just um, had some like soap and water, and I just kind of like uh, dipped the end of the crochet hook into the water and then I dipped it into the top and then I kind of dripped it let it drip into the top of the bead and the bottom of the bead and then it was very easy to just slide these silicone beads onto this hook so this is a size I hook and I can still see the eye right there I can still see it so that's why I haven't written on any of the beads what size it is because I can still see the size I probably would like to put one more um, bead on here because I think it will be a little bit more comfortable but this hook is very comfortable and I really like it and I'm going to make more um, more hooks and I probably will have to write on them what the size is but for right now um, this is what I made with the silicone beads and then this is what I made with this hook last night. I made this cat ear beanie. And it is 19 rows. And I started off the bottom row with a size L hook, which I won't do next time because I think it made it too wide at the bottom. So I think I will use like a size K hook or a, or a size J hook. 
and I'll still use my five millimeter, 5.5 millimeter um, crochet hook to make it. But I like the way the cat air beanie came out. So, and this is with that yarn that I got from Big Lots. And the yarn is like that. It has these little white specks in it. But I thought that was cute. So I might try to figure out how to put like a little spider web right there. So, yeah, but this is what I made. Really cute. And then, oh, and here's the yarn, since I have it right here. Here's the yarn that I used to make the beanie right here. And this is the Red Heart um, Black White Fleck. And it is a, a Red Heart Comfort yarn. I got it for $3.99 at Big Lots. It's a size 4, 12 ounces, 612 yards. So that's what I got there. And then um, I went to Walmart one day. I don't even know what I went in Walmart for, but I went in Walmart one day, and um, I think I was oh I think I was looking for some silicone beads. But while I was in Walmart, I saw they had a display of um, fabric, and it said three dollar clearance. And so I know that Walmart's are clearancing out all of their fabric on the boats and they're just going to go to pre-cuts and my son is a manager at a Walmart and he had told me that a while ago but so um, while I was in there they had this this is what caught my eye this little shoe fabric so I bought this and it was it said it was three dollars on the um, the clearance but the top of the boat said two dollars so I ended up getting the rest of this and I think it was like a yard and a quarter because it cost me like two dollars and fifty cents and then I saw this fabric, and I really liked it. And I ended up getting two yards of this. So this was $4 for two yards. And I also liked it, this rooster fabric. And I ended up getting two yards of this. So I paid $4 for that as well. So that's what I got from Walmart that day. And yesterday when I dropped off my last client, I had some... Michael's Rewards. And I've lost Michael's Rewards before because I didn't realize that I had some in my email. But then now I'm always looking for them. So with my Michael's Rewards, I had $10. And so I went to Michael's when I dropped my last client off. And I got this yarn. And this is um, Burnett Blanket Mystical. And let me see what the color is. Um, the color is Canon, Canyon, and it's a super bulky six, 100% polyester, 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. So I figured I can make a loaf cat with this. So that's what I plan to make with this. And then I also got this one, and this is Burnett Blanket Tweed. And this color is, let's see if I can... It's ivory tweed, 100% polyester, 10.5 ounces, 300 grams, 220 yards, 201 meters. And I got it for the same reason, to make some cats. And for those two balls of yarn, they had the yarn on sale, on sale for 30% off. It was regularly $12.99. Now, I'm not sure how to read their um, receipt. But altogether, I ended up paying $3.18 per skein. So they did take off the $5 uh, for, the, um, for the vouchers that I had, $5 off of each one. And then they also took off $0.91 cents for a senior discount. So I also ended up getting a senior discount, and they took off another $0.91 cents off of each skein. And so I ended up paying... Uh, $3.18 per skein. So for both of these, I paid $6.86 for two skeins of Burnett Blanket, which is a really good deal. And I also went uh, on my break yesterday on my way home. I had another bathroom break. And so I stopped in Joann's to use the bathroom and to just browse around. And I saw that they had um, these fabrics on, uh, on, well, they're just regular price for $2 a yard. So I ended up getting a yard of each. And that color is brown. It probably doesn't look brown, but that's brown. 
this one is purple this one is red and they're all the same um, print this one is orange this one is like a dark uh, blue navy kind of color this one is green this one truly is black this one of course you can see is yellow it's not that dark of a yellow it's a little bit brighter than that this one is gray and then this one is blue and I got all of these they were two dollars for one yard and so I just ended up getting one yard of each one so I'll play around with them and see what I can come up with and um, yeah so that's what I got at Joann's and I paid $21.80 for those because they were two dollars each and then um, I don't even know when I let me see okay I went in Joann's on a different day. I think I got this before I left and went on vacation. And um, I don't see the receipt for these in there. So I don't know where the receipt is. But I ended up getting this fabric. Can you tell I like flowers? <laughs> I ended up getting this fabric. And these look like it's about a yard and a half maybe or a yard of each one. And I got this one. I've had that one before. And then I went to... Joann's on a different day. Let me see when I went there this day. Was this before I left? Yeah, this must have been before I left because this receipt says 9-8. And I ended up getting some Big Twist Posh yarn. And I got um, this Big Twist. And this one is... Let's see, let's see the color. Uh, what color is this? It's, it's a number five bulky, but I'm not seeing the color. Oh, it's blueberry. Its color is blueberry smoothie. That's what color this is, blueberry smoothie. And let me see what the specs is. It is a number five. Um, it says use a eight millimeter hook. I don't know why. That's a pretty big hook. Um... Let's see the specs. Where are the specs? Oh, it's 223 yards, 705 ounces, 213 meters, 200 grams. And that's a size folky. And all of these are the same. I'll just tell you what the color is. This color is Sherbet Glow. And this color is Brown Butter brown butter and I don't know what I'll make with these I'll make something <laughs> and this is just white this one's white and then also on that trip I ended up getting some sparkly elastic just to make make some little bracelets with my granddaughters um, and what else do I have and then I have um, another bag I went to Hobby Lobby let's see which Hobby Lobby did I go to? Oh, this one's on Stockton. Okay. Um, I ended up getting a little bit of fabric there. Let's see. The fabric was... All of these fabrics were $2 a yard. Let's see. And I ended up getting... This fabric. And I think I got... Um... Must have got three yards of this one. This one's, um, this one's like seems like it's a little bit thicker than the other two. But I got this one, and then I uh, ended up getting um, this one. This will be a liner or a bag or a little tote bag or something. And then I ended up getting this one, and these were all two dollars a yard. And then what else did I get at Hobby Lobby? I ended up getting some um, Everyday Iron on Cricut. Um, this was, I don't know what the regular price, but I paid $2.74 on the clearance rack for both of these. And I ended up getting some little um, bows. I saw 
Rose likes crochet and she put these bows on a loaf cat. So I saw them clearance out. So they were the only two I saw. So I got them. I said, oh, I'll try that. And then I also ended up getting some little rubber bands. They were 74 cents and I'll get them just to package up stuff. And then I also ended up getting these sticker, I mean these um, stamps for 49 cents. So that's what I got at um, Hobby Lobby. And then the last thing I want to show you is some yarn that I got from um, the Dollar Tree. I don't think I showed you this yarn, but I did show you that I made a bumblebee with the yarn from the Dollar Tree, but it didn't have any wings or I didn't put no eyes on it yet. And so um, I just wanted to show you some of the yarns that I got. I, I'm not sure I really like working with this yarn. It twists up really, really bad when you're crocheting with it. But I got this color and I don't know what the ball band is. Let me see if this is the ball band for it. Cause some of them I put the ball band away already. Um, nope, that's not the color. I'm not sure what this color is, but I got this. This is from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a white one. So I'll probably make the bees, the wings of the bees with this white. I also got this black and I think I used this on the bee. I used the yellow and the black for the bee. Here's the yellow that I used. Here's some gray. Let's see if that's what, yeah, it's just called gray. Here is some it's called Coco. This one is called Aqua. And it's not that dark. It's a little bit lighter than that. And here's another yellow. Let's see if it's called yellow. Yep, it's called yellow. And then here's a little blue one. I figured I could make a well with that. And here's a green one. I figured maybe a pickle. And here's a pink one. I'm not sure what I'll make with that. And then um, and then here's like a tweeted brown. And then here's another dark emerald color. And I'll make a pickle with that. And that is all that I have. So that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Um, I'll be get, I'm getting ready to retire in about another month. So I'll have more videos when my retirement happens. But thank you for joining me today. God bless you. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll probably have more. Um, I plan on making some more cat ear beanies. And I plan on making some loaf cats with these two. So stay tuned for the next video. We'll continue in the word of the Lord. And I will come back and show you what I make next. God bless you. You have an awesome and an amazing day. Be blessed, my friends. Bye-bye.